Welcome back into the ASUG News Studio. My name is Tom Welg. I'm one of the co-hosts here as we broadcast live from SBOUC 2013. Well, we've got a very cool presentation coming in. We're actually going to do a demo, which is going to be great. Uh, Paul Grill from InfoSo, welcome back to Thank the studio, much. second Thank time. You. And we want to welcome Don Wood from ARI. Welcome into the studio. Thanks, Tom. So we're going to be talking about, and have you uh, patented this yet, Limitless BI? Not yet. Not yet? Well, Not yet. it's too late now. It's too late. This is live. <laughs> we're going to be talking about Limitless BI, but before we get into that, I just want to introduce you guys. So, Don, tell us about uh, ARI and what you do there. Sure. Um, ARI is a fleet management company, so we're a business-to-business -business company that manages um, vehicle fleets on behalf of our customers. So we do everything from acquiring the vehicle through the life of the vehicle, managing the vehicle's maintenance, um, GPS down to, to, to disposing and selling of the vehicle at the end. So um, we operate in North America and in Europe, and we're the largest fleet management company in North America. So you probably don't have any big data or anything like that. Oh, no, sure. there's no, no big data no that big comes data along for you. with that. No, absolutely not. No. Paul, for those who don't know, you can tell us just a little bit about yourself and, uh, and the company. Sure. Um, my name is Paul Grill. I'm uh, the CEO of uh, Infosol. Uh, we're a business uh, intelligence solutions company and have been a partner of uh, SAP Business Objects for 16 years. Wow, and you got a great booth on the show floor, so Thank you. come on, step on by. So, um, actually, I'll go back to you. So, Limitless BI, what is, what is it here? We don't, if we're going to create a new buzzword, we got to define it. Yes, well, I mean, we looked at business intelligence and we looked at the way that our customers were applying it um, in the real world, and uh, we started to see the most amazing uh, solutions being developed. They were really end-to-end -end applications. They weren't just, you know, doing some KPIs and, and using some tools. No, they, they were actually, you know, real business intelligence applications. And the more we saw, the more fascinated um, it became. And so we kind of redefined the term BI to mean big imagination. Mm. Right? And it's that big imagination that people are creating these most amazing business intelligence applications and the capabilities truly are limitless because your imagination right, is pretty much you know, infinite and so the kind of solutions and applications that people are coming up with uh, are, just, uh, are just limitless, limitless Great. BI. Awesome. Uh, Don, so let's talk about You'll be presenting here and uh, I think you've got a very cool thing to show us in the demo. So. Let's uh, talk a little bit about that. Sure, sure, Tom. So, so what our company was, was looking to do was to manage our providers, our vendors that we use to do maintenance on vehicles. So we, we manage close to a million vehicles in the U.S., um, and therefore we have about 60,000 vendors that provide service and maintenance to these, um, for these vehicles. What we wanted to do was to try to, um, to, to get more business intelligence around which are our key vendors and where we should be directing our customers' vehicles to in, in, in order to save money, to, to gain efficiencies, to, 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 to really make sure that we're getting the most out of the vendors that we chose. Okay. So, so why don't I go into the, to the, to the dashboard that we developed sure. to, to, to do this. So what you'll see is that we've actually um, t taken our top 1,000 vendors in terms of our spend of where we, we spend our, our money on behalf of our customers. And, and what we're trying to do is to, to find out some information as to um, What's the opportunity if we directed more, more business to those vendors? Mm -hmm. So if we, if, we direct, if we look in a regional area, and that's one of the reasons why we want to use the maps, if we look in a regional area, what is the opportunity for a vendor if we start directing them, if they give us preferred rates and, and we start directing more business in their, their, their direction? So you can see here that I have a, a map of the U.S. I'm going to, to zero in on a particular, a particular zip code here. I'm going to try to. We're tempting the fates of the demo gods <laughs> the, here. The, 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 live, the live demos are always a problem. <laughs> I, I think it's because I zoomed out that I have to zoom back in. So let me, let me just zoom in to, sure. to, the, to the Philadelphia area from, where, from, once, from whence I come. So we'll, we'll find a garage that's, uh, that's kind of near and dear to me. Paul, when you're looking at something like this, is this exactly what you're talking about when yeah, you've worked I mean, with this? I mean, the whole concept came, you know, from uh, individuals there at ARI, you know, about, well, you know, 
we're looking for new ways to use our data to benefit the, the, the organization. And so they conceived the whole idea. Mm -hmm. um, and then they came to us and said, okay, well, how can we, how can we do this? And interestingly enough, you know, ARI is extremely advanced in its business intelligence usage. It owns a HANA, mm -hmm. right? So it knows all about uh, big data. But the problem that they really faced, right, was um, the fact that in order to get all the data to explore it and understand what was really there uh, was going to be a huge effort in terms of modeling that data and, and everything else. So rather than do that, right, they put together um, a nice prototype using, um, you know, the dashboarding yep. with the integrated um, location intelligence uh, and were able just in a matter of days to start, you know, exploring that data and looking at what was there. It's amazing. Yeah, absolutely, Tom. So, so what, what we're seeing here on the screen currently is um, a, a, a myriad of data sources brought together to give our our customers the intelligence to, to make a decision of whether we can direct more business to a particular vendor to save our, our clients money. So if you look up on the top here, you'll see a breakdown of, of both the types of vehicles which we can send to these vendors, what the current repairs look like to these vendors, and then also what the opportunity is. So if we look at this particular garage, and obviously the garage name has been obscured so you can't see it, but you can see currently we're doing almost 50,000, about $48,000 worth of business with this vendor. If we, we look within a seven mile radius of this vendor, we could see a potential, uh, a potential an, an additional 181 um, vehicles that could be sent to this garage's mm -hmm. location. So we can increase their, um, their, their um, vehicles that they service from 40 to over 200 vehicles. Um, this would obviously um, re uh, result in a, in a large increase in the amount of money which they're, they're actually getting for, for yeah. doing these. And so we can actually start to do a breakdown to, to figure out, you know, when does it, when does it make sense for this, ven this vendor to actually sign up and do this for us? So if you look here, there's a, there's a detailed breakdown screen, and we can start to do the analysis ad hoc to say, if we start to, to send this vendor more or less business, and they give us preferred rates, when is the break-even point? So you mm -hmm. see sort of a green arrow down at the bottom. We can say if we send them 11% of the opportunity within seven, mi seven mile radius, then they start to make an additional amount of money. They can see how much money that is, et cetera. So, so from a standpoint, we can start to, start to really take an analysis of our vendors from multiple sources into one location. Um, one of the other things that our business really liked was that we could actually then see a street view of that vendor. So if I click on the street view, you could actually see what that vendor's like. You can see how many bays it has, so you can actually see that garage. So that's it becomes cool. real without actually having to go visit that garage. That's really cool. I mean, that's... So um, I imagine this has got to have been welcomed with open arms by the, so, by the users. Absolutely. So one of the, the, the good things about this is we were able to develop this very quickly using Excelsius. Mm -hmm. Using Excelsius, um, gave us a very quick turnaround time. So this dashboard was, the prototype for this dashboard was created in less than a week. Wow. So we were able to, to very quickly get this in the hands of, the, of our business customers to, to start seeing if this is going to really hit the mark for them. So why that tool? Why Excelsius? Yeah. Well, because it's, it's probably the best visualization tool on the market mm -hmm. today in terms of the ease of use and the flexibility. Um, you can do almost anything with Excelsius, and you can embed it in almost anything as well. So we took, um, you know, a, a director from ARI who had never used the tool before, and in less than a week, he was able, right, to um, develop this. Come dashboard. on! No, I'm, I'm not Are kidding. Are you serious? Yeah, that's right. Amazing. He, I mean, he knew Excel. He was right. very, very sure. good with Excel, but that's all it took. Right, we helped with you know the connections at the back mm -hmm. end, uh, you know for feeding the data and so sure. forth. But he did the design of the dashboard. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Ha having having the, the tool built on Excelsius really gives you a lot, or on Excel rather, gives you a lot of power in terms of what if scenarios and some other things which really fit the need for our business. So can Excelsius handle the big, the big data loads that you're you're putting on it? Are you able to do yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the other part of the equation that Infosol brought um, you know, to ARI, that we have a, a technology that allows you to cache data mm -hmm. um, for Excelsius dashboards. Um, it's known as the InfoBurst XML data cache, mm -hmm. and th that enables you to pull data from business objects, from Excel, from any data sources, and cache it 
right, um, in memory, and then access that cache data directly from the dashboard. So we can have a couple of million rows of data sitting there with sub two second response times that makes it a very um, practical um, application. So we don't need HANA to run this? Not, not for this purpose. Not for this purpose. Yeah, so so the, the development cycle that we went go through is, is to develop a, a rapid prototype using something like Excelsius, and then, then when we get it right is to then go in and develop, develop it more enterprise-wide using something like HANA and, and continue to use the Excelsius tools on top of HANA. So they're gonna, will there be more rollouts or uses of it in this way, do you think? Yeah, or? absolutely. So we, we plan to use this to, to strengthen our vendor network. Um, there, there, there are more, more plans that we have in terms of exposing the data also to our vendors themselves so that they can actually see what the opportunities are. And then you can start having discussions with our vendors, um, a data-driven discussion that really puts us on an even level with the, with the vendors to say, you know, here's, really, here's where you stand in terms of your marketplace geographically. This is the, the opportunities that we see and the amount of money that we see that come your way. So that, that really changes the, the discussion we have with our, with our, our providers. Absolutely. Was the, the, the time investment seems not huge. Was the cost investment as, as big as well, or was it? No, there was, there was a zero cost. Zero cost, I was going to say. Absolutely. Okay, and that's, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, obviously we provided some initial services, sure. and we provided you know, the, um, the XDC tool set, right. but um, the cost was minuscule. Um, the ROI was instant. So we'll we be seeing more of this. Your your phrase limitless BI as we go forward here, Paul. You yeah. hope so? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, absolutely. I mean, it, you know, and, and, and the conference here. The, the, you know, the more people I talk to, and the more they tell me about the different um, applications that uh, that they're developing. You know, in business intelligence, the more I realize, oh my gosh, you know, um, it's it's just incredible what people are doing. So big imagination, limitless business intelligence. Great. Well, thank you very much, both of you, for coming in. It's been awesome, and I'm really happy we could do the demo as well. Thanks. Thanks, Tom. Stay tuned for more interviews here on asugnews.com. We are broadcasting live from the SBOUC 2013 show floor.